The Podbreed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Podbreed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. This is Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. You listen to the XY show, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. If you if you don't, oh well. The opinions expressed on the X and Y show are the sole opinions of the host. Please note, there is no intentional desire to offend any member of the listening audience. With that said, if you still feel offended, <laughs> tough shit. It's time for the X. And show with your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y. Oh yeah, sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y Show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. And greetings, 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 greetings. Welcome to another segment of the XY Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. You know, I was li- listening to that um, jingle, the XY jingle. You know, for those of you who don't know, I wrote that personally. And, uh, you know, I know I talk a lot of shit, <clears throat> but... Um, I did. I actually wrote that. Um, it took me like 10 minutes um, to write the lyrics. And then um, I, I was about to sing it myself, but I said, you know, that'd be too much. You know, uh, you know, I, I, th- I think I'll probably sing it too well. So I said, let me get someone uh, to sing it for me. <clears throat> You know, because I think I would have done it too well, and I didn't want to intimidate my listeners. So, um, yeah, I wrote the li- the lyrics and got someone to sing it, and you know, it 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 um it's pretty good. I was thinking about doing it something like um, what was that show? Um, the Weeds, um, Little Boxes, Little Boxes. Da, 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 da. So every season they had someone else sing it. Um, but I thought about it and no one could sing that song like the, that original lady on the first season. Uh, the other ones just didn't sound right. So, um, I said, you know, I'm gonna just leave it. <clears throat> I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to get anyone else to sing it. And, uh, I'm glad I made that decision. So, but I just want to give you a little history behind the X and Y jingle written by Roosevelt. <laughs> uh, some things happened in the news. Michael Douglas and uh, his wife, uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Now, usually, you know me. I don't give a fuck about these people. <clears throat> if it was up to me, there would be no such thing as celebrities. I don't give a fuck about what they're doing, who they're fucking. Uh, nothing. They're people. They shit just like we do. Um, but the reason why I was talking about them, because, and I don't know how true it is, because you can't believe half the shit you read um, in these celebrity uh, articles and shit. So, but basically it was saying that Catherine Zeta-Jones, if you don't know who she is, just Google her. she had been in a lot of movies. And uh, hopefully you know who Michael Douglas is. I mean, if you don't know who he is, uh, shoot yourself. <laughs> but um, 
apparently the, the article that I read uh, or came across because I don't look for this shit. Um, it said that you know he's you know starting to have health issues, um, and uh, I thought about you know this is some of the things that you have to think about when you're marrying someone much older than you are. You know he's seventy six now and she's fifty one. When they first got married, <clears throat> they got married in twenty two thousand. So he was fifty five. You know, still, <clears throat> uh, well, he was old, but <laughs> not, you know, not old, old, you know. And she was 30. She was in a fucking prime. I don't know what the fuck. Um, but then it was okay, you know, well, to them. Um, I think you marry someone 25 years older than you is fucking ridiculous. But, hey, if it makes you happy, uh, but she was in her prime. She was 30. You know, he was 55. You know, no big issues. But now he's 76. She's 51. She's still young enough to get around. And she probably still wants to fuck. And I, I don't know. But I'm thinking Michael Douglas probably have to take maybe 10 of those blue pills <laughs> before he do it. You know, amongst other things. You know, he's getting older. You know, probably wearing diapers. Who knows? I don't know. But my thing is, this is some of the things you have to worry about when you marry someone much older than you are. You still can get around. You're still vibrant, young. And you have this other person who can't get around like they used to. And what do you do? And the article said that she was... um, you know, like I said, you don't know how true this shit is. They think about divorce and whatever because she didn't know that she was going to have to take care of him so soon or whatever. And like I said, you don't know how true it is, but it could be true. You know, maybe she's not ready for that shit. Um, me personally, I think if you love someone, you truly love them, it wouldn't matter. So if it is true that she's thinking about divorcing him, then maybe she didn't love him in the first place. Maybe she got with him because at the time, you know, Michael Douglas was a a very powerful actor in Hollywood. Um, You don't know. You don't know. And this is what I've been telling you folks. People get married for the wrong reasons. You know, everything but the right one. Love. You know, oh, he's a good actor. Oh, he's a powerful. And I don't know. I don't know her from shit. But I'm just saying, why the fuck else would you marry someone 25 years older than you? Um, And if it's true, now she's thinking about leaving his ass. Because, you know, she don't want to be around uh, wiping his ass and shit like that. So... You know, it's one of the things I just wanted to mention. Um, age is uh, important when you think about marrying someone. Um, another thing in the news, this A-Rod and J-Lo shit. I mean, who gives a fuck? I, I don't know why you motherfuckers always, con- you know, concerned about these motherfuckers in Hollywood. And this is why... They think that they're better than regular people because essentially society almost worship these motherfuckers. You know, oh, J Lo and A Rod is breaking up. Oh, oh my goodness. J Lo's going back to Ben Affleck. Oh, who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck about them. Got enough shit to worry about. You know, worry about who J Lo's fucking and. Who Affleck fucking and who A-Rod sending DMs to and all kind of shit. Who gives a fuck? I mean, she ain't fucking me. So, you know, why should I care? I don't understand why society put these motherfuckers on pet. Just high up. Like they're gods. I don't get that. I do not get it. And it's not just us. From this generation. Doing that shit since the... 1800s 
You know, motherfuckers, just because they're on the screen. Oh, oh, that, oh. Shit. Anyway. Anyway, let me just get into this week's episode. Fuck all this shit. Um, this week's episode is check on your sexless friends. They're not okay. Check on your sexless friends. They're not okay. Um, and and obviously, if you listen to that, I'm, I'm talking about the people who are not having sex. You know, they walk around, they look normal, but they're not. And I know from personal experience. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not talking about virgins. I'm not talking about virgins. I'm not talking about people who never had sex before. They don't know. They don't know what they're missing. So their their mind is, their head is not fucked up. Um, I remember when I was still a virgin, and um, I don't know how the fuck he knew, but this guy knew. Well, no, he's a family member. And he said, uh, man, you lucky. Man, you ain't never had pussy before, so you don't know what you're missing, so it don't fuck with your head. And I was thinking, like, what is he talking about? You know, <laughs> you know, what do you mean? You know, Now I know. You know, going through, quote, unquote, dry spells certain times. I know exactly what he was talking about. You know, before I got pussy, it was like, you know, I had went without pussy for all this time. It wasn't fucking with my head. You know, we talking about years, you know, before you get pussy, you know. You go 15, 16, 17 years, whatever it was when you lost your virginity. You go through all this time without getting pussy or dick, if you're a woman. Um... It doesn't fuck with your head, but you know when you done had pussy or you done had dick, you know you don't you don't get it for a month or two. It fucks with your head <laughs> like a motherfucker. And now I know what he meant by that. So I'm not I'm I'm not talking about virgins. I'm talking about people who generally has sex. They can get it, but they just haven't been able to find someone to fuck. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, this is something that affects both of us, both men and women. Um, I mean, I mean, like I told you once before. I mean, we all go through dry spells. If it, if any man tells you that they don't never had a dry spell, they fucking lie. I don't care how pretty they are. Um, every man has gone through a dry spell, unless your ass is an actor or athlete or some shit, you know, some celebrity. Everyone has gone through dry spells. Women too. Because women choose to go through dry spells. Right? No women out there saying, no, that's not true. We don't choose to do Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> All this shit is because of women. Now, I know this might sound a little misogynistic, but I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm, I, tell you how, I, I tell you how it is on X and Y show. I keep it real. Dry spells are because of women. <laughs> Let's just, just keep it real. Um, I know one time this girl had me all fucked up in the head. She was, uh, waiting, you know, I had to wait to fuck her, you know, no, no, we can't fuck you. We can't have sex yet. It was like three months and shit. And it was fucking with my head until I found somebody else to fuck. <laughs> I'm going to wait on her. Fuck. She thinks she's. You know, I don't know why women think they're so special. Um, oh, he'll wait on me. Um, I'm special. 
He'll wait for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> That's that Steve Harvey bullshit, and I'll get to that in a moment. Nobody's going to wait on you, ladies. A lot of you ladies out there saying, oh, that's not true. My boyfriend waited for six months. No, he didn't. He was fucking somebody else. Or oh, somebody else is. <laughs> I wasn't waiting on you. I don't know why women fall for that shit. I actually think somebody's going to wait for them. No. But until I could find someone else to fuck, uh, my head was all fucked up. It was affecting me physically. You know, I was sluggish and uh, couldn't move around. I mean, <laughs> you know, and I was still younger, like in my early 20s. And it was fucking with me physically and mostly mentally. Very depressed. Like, damn, what? You know, why she, why she don't want to fuck me? <laughs> why don't she like me enough to have sex with me? She don't love me? You know, all kind of shit was going through my head. You know. And like I said, it affects both of us. It affects men and women alike. And every person is different. You know, depending on the time without sex. You know, it could be some people get fucked up after a week. Some people get fucked up after a month. Some people could last a year. And I would lean to say that women could hold out a lot longer than men. At least with a physical person. <laughs> you know, women talk all that shit, but then they go home and uh, go at it with a vibrator. Hours. I'll get at that in a moment. But every person is different, but it does affect both people, both physically and mentally. That shit is, it's not healthy for someone who's used to having sex and all of a sudden can't have it or can't get it or can't find someone to give it to them. It's not healthy. Physically or mentally. And like I said before, all of this shit is because of women walking around with fucked up attitudes. Yeah, I said it. A lot of you women not going to like that, but I don't give a fuck. I see it like it is. A lot of you women walking around with these fucked up attitudes and you're not fucking. You know, a lot of women walk around angry and shit and, oh, I'm not settling. <laughs> you know, actually you are settling because instead of having a, a nice blood filled warm dick, you substituting it for a vibrator or a clit ring or some shit. So you are settling. You are. But all these women walking around with these fucked up attitudes. I don't need a man. <laughs> Fuck men. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being alone. You know, that's, that's what I want to be. That's bullshit. Yes, it is. The humans, human beings were not meant to be alone. I don't, give a, I don't know why women. You know, I, I, I read some. Uh, this other podcaster. I'm not going to mention her name. But if she's listening, she knows who she is. Um, well, shit, I'll mention it. Um, her name is uh, Kelly. Um, she has a podcast called Let's Get Wicked Deep. So check it out. She has a very good show, actually. And she's on the Pod Breed Network. And she posted something on Instagram. Um, I can't remember word. Them, but it was something along the lines where it's okay to be single. Um, damn, I can't, I can't remember the line. But basically, she was saying is, well, she not she wasn't saying it, but she posted a, a, a little, you know how you post those little 
clips and it said um, it's okay to be single, some shit. And uh, you know, all these women were posting under that, oh, you know, with you know, with the Ebolis, Ebolis, whatever the fuck you call them, with the clapping hands, uh, you know, two thumbs up. Um, you right, girl. <laughs> uh, I, girl, you said again. Uh, you know, all this shit, all of these women. Agreeing with that shit um, With the segment You know It's okay to be single And you know All I said was You know Because I'm, I'm never disrespectful On people People's uh, IG strings Unless they come at me But I just said Interesting You know That You know I got all these women Actually agreeing to this shit You know It's okay to be single It's not okay to be single, not for a long period of time. That shit is not healthy. The human being body was not set up to be alone. Shit, if, if that was the case, none of us would be here. You know, I mean, you go back thousands of years, even Adam say, I'm lonely. <laughs> you know, he, all these, he had all these animals. You know, the gorillas and elephants and lions. And he was talking to all these animals and he still was alone. An actual woman and uh, God gave him a woman, and gave him Eve. You know, he was happy because, you know, that was when we all got fucked up. <laughs> but that's another story. Ever since Eve came on that scene, we, we was fucked up. But um, anyway, <clears throat> the human body was not meant to be alone, and women seem to relish in that shit. And that's why so many women are walking around so miserable. You know, you you, you always uh, you see these women at your job, and they got these fucked up attitudes it's because they ain't getting fucked. You know, and they try to put it on other things like I'm so stressed. I'm worried about this promotion and da 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 da. No, you're not getting fucked. That's what's wrong with you. And all these women walking around with these fucked up attitudes and uh, making men wait for sex um, when that's bullshit. And I'm not saying that women should go out and just fuck everybody. That's not what I'm saying. That'd be nice. <laughs> but, I'm <not. laughs> but I'm not saying that. I'm not condoning uh, a women to be promiscuous. But what I am saying is, if you see someone that you, you really dig, what's wrong with fucking them? You're not a virgin. Unless you're a virgin, then that's different. And that's a whole different bottle of wax. But I'm not talking about you motherfuckers are not virgins. Shit. Virgins are like unicorns. Them motherfuckers are hard. hard, hard do they exist anymore? So, you know, you had these women walking around, like I said, with all these messed up attitudes, you know, saying all this shit about, man, I don't like, I don't need a man to be happy. I'm good with being alone. Fuck men. You know, all this shit. Steve Harvey syndrome. You know, they looking, listening to Steve Harvey with all this bullshit he be saying. You know, don't get me wrong. I like Steve Harvey. He's a cool dude. But he says stuff to rile up women you know a man should take you out to dinner and pay for everything no matter how much it is you worth that <laughs> fuck out of here a man you you make a man wait 90 days did he wait 90 days before he hit it big Fuck all that bullshit he be talking. So a lot of women be going for that Steve Harvey syndrome 
bullshit too. You know, so women are walking around with all these attitudes and they're not fucking, you know, women are going without sex for years. Some of them, you know, going without sex, yet they go home every night. (laughs) Fucking a vibrator. Every night, every night, you know, during the lockdown, they say batteries were hard to come by. Why do you think that? A lot of women was going through some batteries like a motherfucker. You know, lockdown, they didn't have a boyfriend, right? Because they were happy being alone. They weren't fucking anybody. They didn't have any uh, friends with benefits. They just were living a happy celibate life or a happy abstinence life. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. Fuck out of here. That shit is not normal. It's not normal for them to For anyone to be alone and not have sex when you're used to having sex, you know, because if it's a demand, do you really believe that men? Oh, no, I'm I'm going without sex for a year. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some men that go celibate for a year and two years, and they are some weird motherfuckers. (laughs) Shit. Something wrong with the motherfucking asses. That is not normal for a man to do. Fuck all that. Oh, that's not true, Roosevelt. Men need cleansing. They need to relate to themselves and come on another level and another plane. That bullshit. Get out of here with that. If a man saying they're going out sex for a year and all that shit, something wrong with that motherfucker. Get away from me. I don't even want that motherfucker around me. Get your ass away from me. That shit is definitely not normal for a man to give up sex for a year, two years. But women, it's not normal for them either, but they can, you know, they usually the ones who do it. Oh, I need cleansing. I need to find myself before I have sex again. You know, they look around as two years pass by, five years. Six, eight years, ten years. And some women walking around like that who haven't been fucked in over a decade or half a decade. And the sad part about it is, you know, when you're not fucking and you, you're used to getting fucked and or fucking somebody and you're not Engaging in the sexual act It really does affect you mentally And the sad part about it is A lot of times you don't know it You don't know it You know when, when when that girl had me Fucked up in the head Until I started fucking somebody else Um, I didn't know how fucked up I was Mentally until I started Fucking somebody else And came back down You know I, I, It's hard to explain But when I, you know, when I started having sex again, I got my head right. My, my, you know, I became mentally stable again. (laughs) I didn't know I was walking around fucked up. It it was real trippy. You know, as soon as I got that nut, it was like, oh, shit. It was like, I don't know. I was like, damn, what was wrong with me? I was okay after I got that nut. So I was walking around fucked up in the head and I didn't even know it. And that's what happened in our society today. A lot of people walking around sexless and they're fucked up in the head mentally and they don't know it. That's why you see all these, uh, this violence going on in society. That shit stems to that. Don't don't make don't make no mistake. 
it's related. All this shit going on because motherfuckers ain't getting pussy. Or, you know, no, you know, they're not getting sex. All that shit is related. Because a lot of these motherfuckers walking around, they're fucked up in the head and they don't know it. And that's why you see all these women that work. And, damn, what's wrong with her? Why she so damn mean? Why she got an attitude all the time? She probably don't even know she has an attitude. It's been so long. So it's like a normal thing with her. You know, I'm sure some of you have seen it. You know, women walk in the, at the office. They have these fucked up attitudes. And then they get a boyfriend starting to get fucked. And they, they just turn into another person. <laughs> like a meta, a metamorphosis. Damn. That's all she needed was some dick. So. If you know some friends or married couples, even because sadly it exists as well with married couples. But if you know some people that are sexless, not having sex, and if they tell you that or they share it with you, I want you to do something for me. I want you to watch them. I want you to check on them and say, how you doing? Are you okay? Talk to me. You know, take them out for a beer. Take them out for some chicken wings. Take them out for shopping or whatever they like to do. Do something with them to, to get their minds off of not getting fucked or fucking somebody. Because trust me when I say a person that is used to having sex and suddenly is not getting it or haven't gotten it in a long time, they're not okay. Trust me on that one. They're not okay. And I know you all know someone in that boat. Some of you might be in that boat. You know, you know well, damn, I haven't fucked in two years. Get help. Get help. Do something to get your mind off of that. Because chances are you're walking around fucked up and you don't even know it. That's the scary part about this. So, you know, when people tell me, you know, celibacy is important, abstinence is good, the cleanse yourself, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Matter of fact, motherfuckers say all that, get away from me. Get away from me with that bullshit. I don't even want to hear it. Don't even come by me with that dumb shit. Because that's what it is. Dumb shit. When I hear all these women, oh, fuck, man. I don't need man. It's good to be single. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. I don't even want to be around them. But like I said, they're walking around. They don't know they're fucked up in the head. It's not normal for someone who used to having sex and not getting it and just don't want it anymore or refuse to have it. It's not normal. So do that for me. You know someone who's not getting pussy. You know someone who's not getting dick. Check on them. You know, it makes a world of difference. Because trust me, I, I'm, I, I can't reiterate it enough. They are not okay. Trust me on that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the XY Show. And I will get back with you next week. Be sure to check me out on other venues. I'm pretty much on everything. iHeart, Spotify, Google, uh, TuneIn, CastBox. I'm on everything. Podbreed. Be sure to check me out there as well. I'm also on uh, social media. I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram. 
You can find everything on my website, which is www.thexyshow.com. You can find everything there, my social media and my platforms. I also have a store. You can buy a shirt. I have a Patreon page where you can subscribe to me and help me out a little bit with some of these little expenses that I have to bring you the best podcast every week. So without further ado, I will leave you until next week, but I want you always to remember that you cannot have love without X and Y. Later. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.